Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys what I got my kids for Easter this year, 2019. I shopped only Dollar Tree for these items. I got one thing from Meyer, which I actually already showed you guys in a different video last week. Um, but I did stuff it in their Easter basket and I already had these baskets on hand from last year. So I'm gonna deconstruct these puppies and show you what's inside. Or should I say duckies? These duckies. Okay, so now that the basket's disassembled. So here's the pajama top that I was telling you about from before. They each got this one. I found these clearance at Myers for $6. So I threw these in their Easter basket. And now all the rest of the stuff is all the stuffers are from Dollar Tree. So they pretty much all got the same thing. I spent $10 on each kid. And then, of course, I had the baskets on hand and they got pajamas. So this basically cost me like 30 bucks for both baskets. So they each got this sucker. I love doing these little suckers for every holiday they have one. It's just like a, it's basically like a binky except it's like a themed like mouthpiece, I guess. So she got a ducky and Jordan got the same. They each got one of those little, I don't know what you would call it. It's a hopping toy. So like you can wind it up and it hops around. So one got a duck and one got a bunny. They each got some little chocolate bunnies like these. I think these ones are really cute. They like these ones because of like the eyeballs. And they also get like candies and stuff from other relatives. So I don't like to do like a lots of candy in the baskets. And we all know how much toys my kids have and they don't need any more little gadgets than what's here. <laughs> okay, they also each got peeps right here. They like peeps. I don't know. Do you like peeps? Let me know. I hate peeps. This is the one Easter candy that I don't like to eat. I don't like the texture. I don't like the taste. I love marshmallows on s'mores, but not on peeps. But they each got some of these. They each got a thing of Play-Doh. If, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen this before in my little Instagram stories because I share this a lot. I buy this all the time. There's little mini cartridges in here, and you get eight of these for a dollar. So if you have multiple kids or grandkids, you could actually buy a few of these and stuff one in each basket, and it can go pretty far for only a dollar. So I actually got them each one of their own. And one got crayons and one got markers. I'm sure they'll fight over it, but we have each that we can share this way. Um, so they each got one of these because they each got like um, some type of something to do, you know? So this one's for my older daughter. It's like a activity pad. You can just, it's just blank pages. So she can color in there. She likes to draw and make pictures. So blank pages are great for her. Um, and she can use the markers and stuff. And I also got her some stickers. These were actually pretty cute. These little sticker packs. So these are like the puffy stickers and then there's a page of like sparkly ones and then foil ones and then just regular gloss. This one was really cute because I actually have the same hand towels hanging over there to match these stickers. But so the other stickers I got were these ones and these ones are like puffy stickers too. So I got her those with this with the book. And then her sister ended up getting one of these little books here for practicing handwriting this summer. They have like the lined paper like you used to use in elementary school. Do you, let, me, let me know this. What state do you live in? Do your kids have to practice cursive writing? Because my daughter is going to be going into fourth grade next year and she still like hasn't began um, cursive writing. They do typing now. So I think that's crazy that they don't do cursive writing. So let me know. Then she also got this numbers book here. Numbers and coloring activity book. I thought this one was really super nice. This one has quite a few pages in it. The activities. Things like that. She's getting to where like she does the tracing the dots and what have you. And then I got another printing practice book for her. Um, this one says ages four to six, but I'm going to be letting my toddler practice this because she needs to practice her letter writing. So it's like these types of pages. I love their activity books. They're like, they have lots of cool little neat things there and they're only a dollar. So just little things like that. And so that is everything that I got. Like I said, I spent $10 on each kid. I'll show you another walkthrough here after this of what I got. 
The one thing I forgot to show was the Silly String can that I got for each of them. Probably wasn't the best idea, but it's Easter, so I went with it. So this was everything that I got for them from the Dollar Tree this year for Easter. Um, and yeah, I'm pleased. I didn't get any of that uh, grass stuff either because they make a complete mess with it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great holiday and bless you all and I'll see you later.